Parashat Shemot Hamishi. So Hashem tells Moshe Rabbeinu to go and gather all the Ziknei Yisrael and let them know that God remembered them and that He is ready to redeem them. So Rashi explains that Ziknei Yisrael were referring to the scholars, of course, because it was the old people that would be too many people out of 600,000 men. Hashem tells them, go and approach Paro and get permission from him to travel for three days in order to serve Hashem. And Hashem tells him, don't worry, I know he's going to say no, but nevertheless, enachinami. Hashem says that when you leave, you're going to borrow their gold and silver, so that, and you can keep it. The question is, the Ibn Ezra asks, how could it be that you're lying to them? So Ibn Ezra answers, it's not a problem since God anyways owns everything, everything belongs to him. It's not a problem to take what he tells you. So this fashion of taking is not a problem. Hashem gives Moshe Rabbeinu three miracles to perform to Bnei Israel in order to show that that uh, Moshe Rabbeinu was sent from Hashem. Rabbeinu Avraham ben Aramam explains that if it was just one miracle or maybe two, the Jewish people would say, oh, that's Kishuf, that's magic. But with three, that was enough. So the first miracle was that Moshe's staff, his mateh, would actually turn into a serpent. It's interesting that Ibn Ezra explains that the, the staff, it wasn't a staff for a shepherd, but rather it was a staff that Moshe used to help him walk, because that would be more dignified. The second nest would be, the second miracle would be that Moshe's hand would become tzarat. Rav Sadia Gon explains that he would put it inside of his sleeve, and take it out and it would turn sarat and put it back in and it would turn back to normal. The third miracle would be to draw water from the Nile River and it'll turn into blood. Moshe Rabbeinu, however, he protests to Hashem and he says he doesn't think he's suited for this job. And number one, he felt like he has a speech impediment. And number two, he was very humble and he just kept on saying no. That's how the Ramban explains. Nevertheless, Hashem says, he reassures, he reassures Moshe Rabbeinu, he says, don't worry, I'm sending your brother and he's going to be your spokesperson.